I can thank Winston for really uh, you know, taking these ideas and embedding them within standard information theory. So most of the verbiage in the book is mine. You know, I'd say uh, his role has been crucial. I invited Winston Ewart to come on as a second author uh, of the second edition of the Design Inference. He and I had been collaborating, oh, I think since 2008, 2009. He uh, was a student, a doctoral student of Bob Marks at Baylor, and I was still living around uh, Waco at the time. So I got to know him well. Uh, he's a brilliant programmer. Um, he's a Google alum, so as soon as he got his PhD, he went to work for, for Google and he got bored with it, uh, spending you know, his best energies doing AdWords. And so he and I have teamed up, we work on the business end of things, but uh, he has continued to write on intelligent design. We collaborated on a number of papers um, in the early 2010s. And uh, once it became clear that I had the rights back to the design inference, uh, I thought it would be good to bring him on board because he had done some really uh, important work on specified complexity. So specified complexity is actually a term that doesn't appear in the first edition of the design inference. Uh, what, what you have there is specified improbability. So to detect design, you need something that's that has the right sort of pattern, and then it's also improbable. So that's that was the, the notion. But then specified complexity, complexity became, as it were, an alternative way of referring to probability. And you can think of it this way. If you flip a coin 100 times, it has a 1 in 2 to the 100 probability. But to represent that sequence of coin tosses takes 100 bits of information. So it's, you know, you can represent a coin toss like 101010, keep going, that's alternating heads, tails, heads, tails, do that 100 times. So, uh, so there's this connection between bits, which is an information theoretic notion, and probability. And he ended up bringing together those notions of basically uh, in, in, in the idea of specified complexity, the complexity corresponds to improbability, but it's also, as I said, an information theoretic notion. But then the specification is also an information theoretic notion because it's a pattern. It's a description of something. And what that allowed was for a unified information measure to capture this specified complexity, this way of detecting design. Uh, and it ends up being actually quite powerful. In a sense, what you're doing is you're, you're balancing a description, a complexity of description versus complexity of, uh, of an event in terms of its improbability and how they, how they balance each other ends up being, uh, being crucial to a design inference. So you can, you can see it kind of this way. Um, take example of poker, um, a, a royal flush, okay? There are about 2.6 million poker hands and uh, you've got four, four of those are royal flush. So it's about one in 600,000, something like that, um, probability of getting a royal flush. So highly improbable, maybe not highly improbable at the scale of the universe, but quite improbable. Uh, I mean, royal flushes have happened by chance, but you know, it's uh, you know, still reasonably improbable. But short description to describe that versus uh, a pair and you know how that that uh, you know or, or two of, two of a kind about the same description length but it will have a, a probability of I think there'll be about a million out of those 2.6 million so it's about maybe what two-fifth probability so it's this balance between probability and description length that ends up being crucial and Winston really nailed that down developed this idea of specified complexity in a way that um, you know that makes sense of the form my theory in first edition of design inference but then uh, really gives it some uh, you know, information theoretic credibility and ties it into existing information theoretic concepts. So it uh, really is, ends up being, this notion of specified complexity ends up being a merger of Shannon information and Kolmogorov 
uh, information. So these are two standard approaches to information theory. Uh, and uh, it, it ends up just being a very pleasing theory. It's, there, there's a craft inequality which characterizes the probabilities that of balancing these different types of specified complexity. Uh, so there's an existing theory in which what we're doing in the design inference embeds. And so I can thank Winston for really uh, you know, taking these ideas and embedding them within standard information theory. So even though I probably wrote, spent most of the time, most of the verbiage in the book is mine. You know, I'd say, uh, you know, there's, uh, I mean, he did some writing, but uh, you know, I, I did the majority of it, but uh, his role has been crucial. Mm -hmm.